noticing that this is a really funny shirt. Solomon sent me this shirt and now it looks like I'm wearing a singlet that's been turned into a t-shirt. It looks a bit funny from the front. I didn't, I didn't even notice that when I put it on. Anyway, today I'm gonna tell you how you can save your life by running. Let's get into it. Let me rephrase that. I should say, I'm gonna tell you how running can save your life, maybe. And this is also the weekly running and training vlog where the main purpose of this video is for you to tell me about your week of running. I wanna hear about your successes. I definitely wanna hear about those setbacks. So I did come across an article in Canadian Running and the title of that article is, Higher VO2 max may protect against certain cancers, study shows. So the finding ultimately is that men may be able to boost their protection from some kinds of cancers because researchers have found that there is a link between cardiorespiratory fitness and a lower risk of dying from cancer. But that might be a little misleading. The researchers found that there might be a lower risk of dying from prostate, colon, and lung cancer. Those are the three top cancers in men. So women, I am sorry this study only included men, but I'm willing to bet there are some similarities between men and women. And look, I'm not, I'm not a science guy. This isn't a science channel, but I'll put my stamp on it. I promise you women watching this that if you continue to run, you will not die of prostate cancer. I promise. And I'd be willing to bet that there is some decrease of your chance of dying from colon and lung cancer. Anyway, for this study, researchers looked at 177,709 men in Sweden. They looked at them over a 10 year span. The men in the study were aged 18 to 70. And as I already said in the beginning, the study's objective was to find out if there's a link between cardiorespiratory fitness and a lower risk of dying from specific cancers. Now those 177,709 men were separated into four groups and those groups were ranked from the lowest cardiorespiratory fitness to the highest cardiorespiratory fitness and every one of them had their vo2 max tested and the researchers found that the participants with the highest vo2 max had a significantly lower chance of dying from prostate colon and lung cancer now this next part is a bit tricky but the researchers also found that the participants with a higher vo2 max had a lower chance of developing lung and colon cancer but the data did reveal that that specific group those 177,709 men had a slightly higher risk of of developing prostate cancer. So let's just boil that down. It turns out that having a higher VO2 max may stop you from dying from prostate cancer, but it increases your risk of developing prostate cancer. Take that for what it's worth. Now, obviously these three cancers are not the only benefits that you're going to get by running or by having a higher VO2 max. There are a lot, obviously. We know that, right? But another study out of the UK also found sticking to a regular running regime throughout middle age may prevent or slow down the memory loss that comes with getting older. So if you are a middle-aged person, keep running. Keep being active throughout middle age and perhaps you won't lose your memory as you get older. That's pretty good. But women, I do have a study for you also because I realize this was very much geared towards men. But there was a study that found that girls that exercised on a regular basis, and I mean girls like females less than the age of 18, when they worked out as children, they had a lower chance of death later in life. Now, I realize if you're watching this, you're probably older than 18. I don't think I have very many young viewers. I'd also bet that if you are viewing this channel, I bet you had an active childhood. Just based on my demographics, I know how old most of you are. And when you would have been children, you would have had a much more active childhood than perhaps children do nowadays. So this is good. This is good news. So there was actually a study. There was a study published in Cancer Epidemiology, Biomarkers and Prevention. And the study observed 75,000 women in Shanghai over 13 years. Now the women were aged between 40 and 70, and they were recruited between 1996 and 2000. And each of these women, each of these 75,000 women, they were interviewed extensively about their workout habits in adolescence. And the results were surprising. I'll tell you what was surprising to me after I tell you the results. But the researchers showed that the women that were active for 1.3 hours a week in their adolescence, they were 16% less likely to get cancer later in life and 15% less likely to die of all other causes. So perhaps it's too late for you, but if you have children or if you have grandchildren, probably a good idea to push them out the door, encourage them to get active for a little bit. The researchers then went back and considered socioeconomic factors. And when they did this, they found that women's chance of death decreased by 20% of all causes. Now, the study did not identify which activities these women did, but apparently a lot of them said they participated in team sports. And that's pretty normal, right? I'm sure most of us participated in team sports when we were kids. It's only now that we choose running, which is a very individual sport. It's an individual sport that we all do together. Anyway, I hope you all live a very long time and continue running throughout that life. And I had a pretty good week of running this week. However, this has been a very busy week, so I'm not going to be adding my runs to the end of this video. If you are interested in seeing what I did this week, I encourage you to go over to my Strava. It's open for everyone to see, and you can see exactly what I got up to. But I think this is all I've got for you this week. And with that, it's Matt B. Be kind, be happy, run well. I'll see you in a couple of days.